So how to calculate the steel reinforcement for an isolated footing? Here is how. The first thing we need to do here is to put the foundation type. And here we will list the types of foundations that we will be having in our project. And then we need the dimensions. So just the numbers first, then after that the dimensions B and L and D for an isolated footing. And after that we need the volume. So let's do some example here. The foundation type will be F01, let's say. And we have 20 numbers. And this foundation is 1.8 into 2.2 into let's say 0.5. So the first thing here, the volume will be equal to multiplying these four numbers. So this is the total volume of these 20 foundations. And let's do some quick formatting here, like that. And let's format also the numbers. So we have something that looks like this. And we can add a row here. And under the numbers, I'll put numbers. And this is measured in linear meter here linear meter, here linear meter, and here we will have cubic meter. So something like that. And let's add a row here and let's refer to these as the dimensions. So I have the dimensions here and this is the volume foundation type. So this is the first part. Now the second thing I want to do, I can calculate here actually the shuttering area or the formwork area. And this will be measured in square meters. So basically I'll be calculating the sides or the side area of the foundations. So we can say equal to, first thing I need the parameter. So that's two N two, open a bracket, B plus L, close the bracket, then multiply by the depth. What happened here is that I am getting the side area for one footing, but I have 20 footings here. So I have to multiply by the numbers also to get a total because I'm getting a total volume because I'm multiplying by the numbers and same for the shuttering area. After that, we need the cover and the cover is the spacing between the steel reinforcement and the outer surface of the foundation. So I'll say here cover. And this is also in linear meters. So for footings, let's say we have five centimeters cover. So I'll put 0.05 here, as you can see. And before we continue, anything that is being calculated as a formula, I want to keep it black. So these two cells, but these are things that I can change in the future because I am creating a template right now. So I'll keep them as green. Green means you can change them in the future. So after the cover, we need the reinforcement length. And actually for the reinforcement length, we have two directions, direction one and direction two. So this is direction one and here direction two. And these two will be grouped under reinforcement length. And also in linear meter. And don't worry about the formatting. We will format it very well in a moment, but for the time being, let's just focus on how these formulas are working. So direction one will be equal to, it will be equal to the B minus the cover. So equal to, I'll open a bracket like this, B minus two covers plus two into D minus again, two covers this one here. So something like this. So what I'm saying here, I am saying 1.8 minus 0.1, which is two covers. So I have 1.7 plus two into 0.4. So that's 0.8, 1.7 plus 0.8. That's 2.5. So this is for the first direction. And for the second direction, all I can do is to copy this and I'll paste this formula here. But instead of using the B, I'll use the L, as you can see. So what I'm doing here, again, I am saying 2.1 plus 0.8. So that's 2.9. So this is how I get the length of the U shape or the bar for direction one and direction two. And now let's start calculating the bottom reinforcement. So for the bottom reinforcement, Again, I have two directions, direction one and direction two. 
and for each direction what I need I need the numbers per linear meter and I also need the diameter and based on these two we can calculate the total numbers of steel rebars in this side and we will calculate after that the weight so let's just bring these up the diameter will be in mm and the numbers are numbers and the weight will be calculated in kg something like this so now let's assume that for this direction we have let's say seven bars diameter 16 so how many numbers will be there right now so i'm talking about direction one and for direction one the reinforcement length is 2.5 and the 2.5 is calculated based on the 1.8 so the distribution length will be calculated based on the 2.2 which is the l so here for the numbers what i can do i can say the numbers will be equal to the 2.2 multiplied by 7. so this is the total number 15.4 i can use a ceiling here so i'll say equal to ceiling so that it becomes like 16 instead of 15 point something and now is the time to calculate the weight so we know that we have 16 numbers so 16 numbers that's fine into into what into this length which is the 2.5 here so this is the total length if i multiply this by the diameter square divided by 162 i get the volume but this volume that I am getting here sorry the weight the weight that I am getting here is for just one foundation so I'll have to multiply all of this by the numbers like that so this is what I am getting for one direction in the bottom reinforcement and it's for all of them so here all of these will be under something that I'll call direction one and again i need the same things here this will be direction two for me and let's say and again what is a formula here this is a formula and this is a formula so these two numbers are numbers that i can put by hand so i'll make them green like this and let's say for direction two we have 5 16 and again let's make them green and for the numbers as you can see the numbers are being calculated here based on the 2.2 so I'll just copy this formula and I'll paste it here. But instead of using this number, the seven, I'll use the five. And instead of using the 2.2, I'll use this. So here I am using the other direction, which is the 1.8. And I'm using the number per linear meter in that direction. And now for the calculating the weight or for the weight of this case again we will copy this formula and we will do some changes here so i was calculating the weight based on these numbers so instead of these numbers i'll use these numbers and instead of this diameter i'll use this one and instead of the 2.5 i need to use the 2.9 so as you can see now i am talking about the other direction and both of them are coming under the bottom reinforcement something like this and again don't worry about the formatting we will format it properly now let's just keep doing the formulas so as we did here for the bottom reinforcement we need to do also for the top reinforcement and let's reduce this and let's do something like that and this i'll call it top reinforcement so for the top reinforcement i still need the same things so let's copy these paste them here and let's say for the top reinforcement we have 5 per linear meter and the diameter is 12 and these will be green for us and now regarding the numbers formula so what I can do here this is direction 1 so I'll just copy this formula which calculates the number for the direction 1 for the bottom because it is using this number and this length so I'll copy this and I'll put it here but instead of using this number, I want to use this number here. So 11 pieces. 
And to calculate the weight, I'll take this again and I'll paste it here. But instead of using these numbers, I'll use this. And instead of using this diameter, I'll use this. And I am still using the same direction because this is direction one for the top reinforcement. So I'm getting something that looks like that. And for the other direction, for the top reinforcement, let's say again it is 512. And again green. So for the numbers, we can take the numbers formula from here. Because this is using the 1.8 and this is using the 2.2. So here, similarly, this is using the 2.2 and this one will be using the 1.8. So for the direction 2, this is the numbers formula that I want to choose. So I'll do that. And instead of using these numbers, I'll use these numbers. Something like this. And I'll go and take this formula and I'll put it here. And again, instead of using these two, I'll use these two. So just bring this one here and this one here. And this one is same. So I have something that looks like this. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. And if I want to calculate the full weight of a steel or the total, I'll simply say this plus this plus this plus this. So I'm getting 3013 kilograms here, as you can see. And now let's start having some small formatting here. So what we can do, we can, we can say here that this will be, let's make everything here like full border like this, all borders. And foundation type will be merged. Dimensions here will be merged. And this is the shuttering area and this is the cover. And we can say here reinforcement length something like that. Then these are okay here, we'll say steel weight in kg. And actually now let's copy this and say that we have some other like types of foundations. So F2 and F3 and F4. And let's say numbers, let's say here 10 and here 15 and here let's say eight and Let's say here, this is 1.1, 1, 1 into 1. And let's say this one is 1 1.5 into 1.7. And let's say this is 2 into 2.4. And for the steel reinforcement, let's say that here we have something like, you can change like just here 716, here 516 and or no, let's make this 514 and 514. And here, let's say 716 and 516. Okay, and here, let's say 514 and 514. Just, I'm assuming different types of foundations with different reinforcement. And I am getting here the steel weight. I can also make some calculation here, which is the steel ratio. So steel ratio here. And this steel ratio will be kilogram per cubic meter. So we'll say equal to the steel weight divided by the total volume here. So I'm getting for the first one 76 kilograms and we are getting 71 here, 81 here, and 55 here. So as you can see, I am getting the steel reinforcement in the range that we understand or we find in most of our projects. And if you want some totals, you can get the total volume here if you want. This is the total volume, and this is your total reinforcement, and this is your average, let's say, steel ratio, if you want to call it like that. So we can have all borders here as well. And here let's do merging and for these let's have something in the middle that looks like this so it will look something like that it's not the best formatting right now but let's 
go with it for the time being as our template for calculating the reinforcement of the foundations. And there is one more thing that we can do here to fine tune this as well. So I can hide some of the formulas that I don't want to see, like for example, these two and these two and these two, these two as well. So I can hide them because I don't need them for anything. I just need bottom reinforcement, direction one, just put the numbers and diameter, numbers diameter for direction one and two for the bottom and the top. And also these two, you don't need them in anything because they will be automatically calculated. So just keep whatever you want to see in front of you. And by the way, the cover will make it also green because let's assume that this is a template and you can change the cover that you are using. So it will be something that looks like that. Next time when you have some foundations, all you have to do is just put the foundation and the number and the dimensions and just put the cover and the reinforcement details so that you can get your steel weight here directly without the need of creating this again from the start. So you create something like that for all the elements that you have in your project for the beams, for the columns, for the slabs and all. And you can keep using these formulas again. And actually there is a tip here also. Like if you remember, if we unhide everything here, if you remember here, the total steel is the submission of these four numbers. So instead of summing them like that, you can replace this one with actually here with this formula, the formula that is here, this one, because you are taking this number plus this, plus this, plus this. But you can ask yourself a question, how this number was calculated? It was calculated based on this formula. So if you take, if you like replace these four numbers by their four formulas, then you can go ahead and completely delete these columns from your Excel file and you will still get the same result. And this is how actually I did this big formula that is in my template, which I use all the time. And I don't have these columns actually in my template because I have removed them and I replaced the numbers with the formulas as I showed you right now. And as you know, there is always much to learn. And here on the channel, I have so much educational content similar to this, but I let YouTube recommend what is the best video that you should watch next. And it will be here next to me. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.